We all know that the skull also contains sinuses, but there are various locations of them. For example, we have sinuses that is located in our forehead, which is the frontal sinus, and inside our cheekbones, which is the maxillary sinus, and also um, sinuses that is located behind our nose, which is uh, the ethmoid and sphenoid sinuses. So generally, their main function is to produce mucus that moisturizes um, inside of the nose. And also, this mucus layer protects our nose from any pollutants, dirt, and also microorganism. Okay, uh, next, this air filled cavity also contributes to the lessening of the width of, of our skull with a minimal reduction of its strength. And it also contributes to um, resonance of our voice and um, assists in the warming and moistening of our. Uh, uh, that is inhaled via our nose. And for our resp respiratory system, the sinuses plays a big role, which is regulating the temperature and humidify our air that we breathe in every day. Moving on to the function of the fontanelles. So, of course, we have to know what is a fontanel. So, a fontanel refers to the space uh, between the bones of uh, the infant's skull where the sutures intersect. They are covered by tough membranes uh, that protect the underlying soft tissues and brain. So, the cranium of the newborn consists of five main bones, which is uh, for the infant skull, they have two frontal bones, two parietal bones, and one occipital bone. So the fontanelles also include the anterior fontanelle, which is also called soft spot, and it is the junction where the two frontal and the two parietal bones meet, and also the posterior fontanelle, which is located behind of the uh, infant's head. It is the junction of the two parietal bones and the occipital bone. So, uh, Back to the main question, which is what is the function of a fontanel? So fontanel actually allows its plates to be flexible, to pass through the birth canal and for expansion of the brain um, after birth. So fontanels are very, very uh, essential for the proper development of the baby's growth and the baby's brain as they are held together by the flexible surface which protect the brain from the, any hard impacts.